Will you cut my hair? Why? It's been six months since Matt died. And that's like three inches of grief hair. And I don't want it on my head anymore. Why are we trying to be okay on the outside when there is a nuclear holocaust happening on the inside? You occasionally use affection as a barrier to self-exploration. To having sex, people would judge you for. Cheers. I can only see the hole Matt left and not the people standing around it. You are so selfish, you make everything about yourself. But it's my first Christmas without Matt and my first Christmas sober. How hard that must be for you. Maybe I should just go. Maybe you should. When will you be back? I'm not sure I'm coming back. No. Annie, Matt would hate it if he knew you were never going to speak to me ever again. I don't want to hear you talk about what Matt would have or wouldn't have wanted. Well, we both know he wouldn't want any of this. The person who made us in-laws is dead. I don't know what's going on. I do. He's in love with you, and he feels appropriately terrible. It's normal to lose some of that connection as you move forward. Is there a way you can make your mind dream about someone? But if you want to see him, you're going to have to find him on his plane. <sighs> Let's do this. Matt's comic comes out tomorrow. He made his dream come true. I want to see him. I just want to touch him. This is my life, and I'm going to do things that make me feel good. Is it so hard to just say, I'm sorry? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am so sorry.